啱啱先睇過中國啦，而家就介紹西方嘅古代武士裝備。嗱，我哋有時咧喺古堡或者西型嘅古裝片，經常都會見得到著住成套盔甲嘅武士模型。中國嘅武林秘笈，大家都聽得多。原來西人都有嘅噃。最近有人就喺意大利發現一本六百年前嘅西方劍術嘅武林秘笈，經過修訂同埋研究之後咧，要將佢發揚光大。鄧偉玲報導。李班系十四世纪嘅武士，佢哋正喺度练习紧打斗嘅招式。每个星期，呢班武士都会最少练习一个钟嚟改进佢哋嘅武术。喺电脑时代，仲有武士嘅出现，设格格不入，成为事主。但系多唔多，偏偏就有班中古武士发烧友，佢哋特登嚟到呢度学习武士嘅打斗同埋装扮。而呢间武士学校嘅创办人咧就系 David，David 本身系电脑工程师。喺一九九八年就開辦咗呢間中古武術學校。Well, the reason I I set this up because I have a personal interest in European history, and and I have taken uh, uh, kung fu many 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 years ago, but I never got a connection. So so when I uh, found out about the、uh, Fiori de Liberty who wrote this、uh, treatise、uh, 600 years ago, I thought that the martial arts. Was not the only, was not only an Oriental or Asian, and and I felt this connection with it, which is why I started the school, to to wake everybody up, to wake up, the the European-based people say we also had a martial art. David 好中意武术，佢以前学嘅系中国功夫，但一次偶然嘅机会，佢发现到呢本十四世纪描述中古武士武术嘅秘笈。里面图文备谋，有晒以前武士嘅各种打斗方式，令 David 非常着迷。结果佢专程去到意大利拜师学艺。喺九年前佢退休，就决定开办一间中古武术武士学校，致力发展呢方面嘅武术。而目前佢哋有基本学业五十几人，年龄咧就有十几岁到中年都有。Do things that people did 600 years ago. You know, maybe my ancestors were doing this sort of thing, and it's it's a chance to do that sort of thing, and、uh, you know, come back to your heritage. <laughs> yeah, I'd、uh, been really interested in medieval history for a long time, and especially、uh, medieval arms and armor. And then I discovered this group that there was actually a place where I could learn how they really used them. Well, I was attracted by the weapon. As you notice, you can attack your opponent with the point, this edge, that edge. You can attack him with the the pommel as well. You can grab his hand, strike him with a weapon, and this, the movement is relatively circular when done correctly. 你学嘅人大部分都系对中古历史好有兴趣。再加上武術可以近身，所以嚟學。佢哋雖然冇諗過要做真正嘅武士，但 David 設立嘅訓練課程就非常嚴格，照足十六世紀英國訓練武士嘅方式嚟分等級。例如初學嘅佢哋叫 recruit 新丁，佢哋最先學嘅就係走步。呢啲動作就有啲似我哋中國功夫嘅扎馬。第一式，佢哋叫 long 腳。第二式就叫 Batani， 第三式叫 b o r Two， 而最後一式就係叫 Iron Gate。而由呢四式再進一步就係學 Grappling， 扭打。而初學嘅動作就有啲似我哋中國功夫嘅詠春，黐手。The purpose here is to try and dominate the other person's hands. Or possibly get in and dominate their elbows, touch their their shoulder, their chest, their hips, and possibly get a double hook. 扭打嘅作用係盡量將對方摔倒，而根據中古武士武術，扭打係佢哋嘅基本功。因為再進一步嘅用劍、用矛嘅招式，亦係由扭打演變出嚟。And you're going to deflect, right? 剑系古时武士俗称提拉嘅物件，而佢哋一般用嘅剑就叫阿米斯，平均长四十八寸到五十四寸，而重咧就系三磅到五磅不等
而至於真正作戰喺戰場上用嘅劍咧，就係劍身較長嘅所謂 sword swords， 佢可以長達六尺，重可以達到九磅。Well, it's it's not it's not a matter of difficult. It's it's a matter of timing and distance because now the distance is further apart because it's a longer weapon, and it's actually quite fast because you got both hands working on this on this weapon. So timing becomes much more uh, difficult to master. So if you have an attack, and the sword comes off, then you come in with the with the response. It just takes a little bit more effort because it's a longer sword and it's a little bit heavier. 兩種劍嘅最大分別係 w a r s w a r 因為較長同埋重，所以一定要用兩手持劍。但除此之外，兩劍用嘅劍式，丁人話係完全一樣。而一般中古武士用嘅劍式就有 Guide the Wind， 劍高舉眉下，因為劍喺眼嘅下面，望出嚟就似望窗一樣，所以就叫 Guide the Wind。而呢一式兼斜方背后就叫街道温文，原因兼放喺背后边就似一把女人嘅枪。呢一招叫 bob two 野猪牙，原因当剑向上剔就似野猪扑上袭击人一样。呢一招系最基本嘅防守，叫 iron gate 铁门。呢一招叫 swords n i c k 射剑，原因系当佢进攻嘅时候就似蛇一样快而狠。除咗剑、匕首，亦系佢哋武士嘅重要武器。而佢哋学嘅主要系空手夺白人，预防突然其来嘅袭击同埋点对付。导师就话：一般短剑最常袭击嘅部位就会系膊头位，但只要你用手一挡。然後捉住對方嘅手一扭，就可以搶到對方。另外就係空前嘅襲擊，但係只要你夠大膽，以雙手捉住對方嘅手，然後將佢還拉，亦可以令佢失去重心。對付背後嘅襲擊，你可以用手臂夾住對方嘅手，然後用另一隻手借力壓向對方，令佢失去重心。呢啲防止偷襲嘅方式睇嚟似一啲都唔難，而導師亦話只要一晚亦學曉。不過最重要原來唔係學，係練。You must practice these things regularly. I've been doing this many years, and I still practice every chance I get. 除咗多練習，武士武術嘅要求亦非常嚴格。而家上緊堂嘅呢班學員，平均學咗已經一至兩年，但原來仍然未夠資格繼續規格，原因佢哋只係算錯覺。Actually, when I first started, kind of, kind of, but there, it's problematic because it's hard to get it to fit. It's expensive, it's uncomfortable. So I, I've gotten to enjoy just the fighting, so-called shirt fighting, um, without the armor. You to acquire, to learn the real arts, you need to pass the school test to get the school license. And the average is at least four to five years. 其中原因係一道盔甲平均最少都有六十磅重，如果武功冇翻咁上下，你著住佢根本可能行都行唔到。而一套盔甲咁重嘅原因係原來佢由好多層層疊疊組成。第一層係一件沾有棉絮嘅棉衫，佢嘅作用除咗保護之外，亦係固定整套盔甲嘅位置。喺棉衫上邊，仲要著一件保護背心。然后就先套上脚嘅盔甲，而大腿上面嘅盔甲咧，就系利用棉衫上面嘅绳嚟固定。为咗保护喉部，佢哋会戴上一个皮圈嚟保护。然后就系套手部嘅盔甲。Yes. 然后再着一件贴布衫。Yeah. I'm good. No. I've got it down. 跟住就係膊頭嘅護甲，最後就係胸前嘅盔甲，最後戴埋手套，咁就變身成為中古武士啦。著住六十磅嚟舞刀練劍，絕對唔係一件易事，所以平均佢哋練十至十五分鐘就會有一個休息。雖然一啲都唔輕鬆。大教练就话：如果你要彻底了解中古武士武术，呢一部分系要必经嘅阶段。Because you have to practice in armor like any other form of practice, 
This equipment is part of you. It has to move with you. And if you don't wear it frequently, you never learn to move in it. 着住规格嘅动作同舞原来系完全唔同，所以一定要练习同埋适应。由初哥到有资格着规格，再到可以着住规格活动自如，佢哋话最少都要经过六七年嘅时间。但喺 David 眼中，原来六七年咧仍然系未够办。Yes, yes, this will go on forever. You know, I, and I think uh, it was one of the uh, Chinese masters and students, and the student would ask the master, 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 how long must I practice? And the master would respond, until you die. It's the same in this art. You know, we have students who are asking, well, how long do I practice with the sword or, or with the grappling? I say, until you die. It never ends. Mozo is also a student, so David thinks it's a student's student. 對於目前有咁多中古武術發燒友 ，David 當然感到滿足。不過佢話，就算只得一個學生、一個人嚟學，佢仍會一樣咁樣教落去。好啦，今日節目時間就到呢度。嗱，下星期咧，我哋會介紹古代嘅中國點樣去保護西南邊疆。下星期見，拜拜。